OT. He's going to be fighting. When are you fighting him? Uh, November 8th, uh, San Francisco, Long Sherman Hall, Fisherman's Wharf. On the undercard, a hard hitter, Kareem Mayfield. It's going down. And uh, do you, what do you know about your opponent, Chris Daniels? Um, from what I know is I heard he had one fight. Um, he came from MMA. Most MMA guys are pretty tough. They keep coming forward, eating shots. You know, um, I'm assuming. I haven't watched any tape or I haven't seen anything about him, so I'm going in blind, which I like it because I like to pick him apart while I'm in there, learn while I'm in there, so it's all good. Okay, and you're a dynamic personality. Yes. You're larger than life. Yes, sir. Why should someone get to know about you and the boxing for health? I mean, because we everything. We some of the hardest hitters in the Bay Area, you know what I'm saying? Um, entertaining in the ring and outside the ring. Um, we great people overall, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and we all got skills, we all bring something nice to the table. You know, we hear Aaron Coley 9-0, Bilal, you know, 5-1, Troy King 2-0, you know, Miguel Lopez 3-1, we all out here. You know, getting it. Has taken a liking to Troy a lot. Yeah, that's because he's been putting that work in, man. Your boy been, been getting him out of there, which he's supposed to be doing. And he got a crazy personality. You know, he crazy, funny, aggressive. It is what it is. You gotta like it. But you're, you got a crazy personality. Yeah. You yourself yeah. To Floyd Jones yes. And what it is, you gotta see me in there, man. When I get in there and I'm flashy, I'm fly, I'm fitted in that ring, and I'm getting them out of there, they gonna they gonna be high and up on me too inside that ring. They gonna know about me. Are you gonna throw any bolo punches? <laughs> I don't really do bolo. I'm more finesse. I'm more style. I'm more fast. I'm more like pop shots, you know. So I stick to that technique and that uh, that, that swiftness, you know. So that's a no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man, it's been going good. Uh, just got in uh, four rounds right now with uh, Bilal and uh, another my, one of my guys over here. I forgot his name, but he like 6'3", real tall, fast hands, long. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he was good work, too, you know. I like when I get in there with somebody new and I got to figure them out and r figure out how to get in there. So it's a beautiful thing. I'm just going to keep it going. I got two more weeks, so I'm going to keep sparring every other day and just trying to get in there. How did you get the nickname O.T.? OT come from my real name, Otis, O-T-I-S, just take the I-S off. They call me the champ, AKA hard body, AKA sweet dreams, AKA, AKA, you know what I'm saying? That's how I get it in. So, you'll know about me. <laughs> you said a freestyle R&B, damn. I can't freestyle R&B for you, but no, November 8th, I'ma show you how to sleep for them. Put them on the ground in that eight count. It's gonna feel like his head was on the mount when that chop block and that. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> I'm crazy out here, man. Hey, you know what it is, though. Uh, champ, November 8th, come out, check out that hard hitter, Kareem Mayfield. It's gonna be a beautiful undercard, man. Sage Gemini. Uh, it's gonna be everybody there, man. It's gonna almost be sold out. It's gonna be beautiful. If you don't know, now you know. Come out and celebrate with us, man.